guaranteed to be spoiled at this point if I don't look. And I think the other was Jen. I'll try to avoid it, but we'll see. Oh, I didn't even click on it. Wait, what? Where am I? Oh, there it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, see, it's Light Dagger, though. Donna. She looks good, though. She looks way cuter. I think the last SSR she had was the um, summer one, right? No, it's the fire one. The fire Halloween variant. Damn, she has three SSRs, dude. This is a character that was originally an SR. She has three SSRs, bro. Three of them. <clears throat> and three Ellie's. Dark, fire, and light. And, oh, it's Jen. Oh. Wow, Jen has an SSR, dude. <clears throat> That's the fifth gen in the game, no? That's five gens. Am I right about that? That man has five characters in the game. Pretty, that's pretty insane to think about it. Tana. Earth. Well, I'm not surprised about the Katana Earth part. And then we have Light Dagger. Okay, okay, I'll bring up the notepad. Dude, do I have to do this? Like, do I really have to do it? But I guess I do, right? I mean, the answer is pretty obvious, but. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, but still, regardless, doesn't really matter much. Um, where is it? This one? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Did you spark 2019? What the? Uh, last gal, right? Last gal. Ah, uh, not 2019. Let's do this. Ah, uh -huh. there we go, baby. Um, rate ups. Who's the rate up character anyway? Jin, original cow titch number one. And who's the other one? Oh, Vera. Okay. Um, I'm guessing they're standard units because they're not grand, right? So it's. Um. Standard Gen Standard Oh, uh, put that wrong. Standard Vera Limited. Oh shit. That looks good to me. Certificates. That's about it, right? They don't come out with S SR character. No, they do come with an SR character during this event. There's no SR? Is there no SR with this event? I mean, this banner? I guess it's not, huh? Mm. Oh, there are Wow, we get to see the Ogie? Wow, with the ripoff. No, 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 oh, there it is. Damn, everything's so fancy now. So let's get, let's get them. Is it just me or everything's so fancy now? Everything's gotta be like a big ass explosion in 2020, dude. <sighs> Out of nowhere, everything big ass explosions, dude. For some reason, I thought that was the Kirito thing. I'm not gonna lie, it, that looked like the Kirito thing, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that the, uh, what's Kirito's special move called? It might know. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm early. But look at the, the look at the carry time move, bro. Yeah, Starburst Stream. That's what it's called, right? That's what I thought it was. <laughs> Looks cool though. God, it's, it's it's a fucking straight copy, isn't it, dude? It's a straight copy. What's up, everybody? By the way, fade episodes. You ever watched it since high school? Mm -hmm. Uh, 
a mobile coin let off for you. Damn, there's really no SR, dude? Wow. Okay, let's see the actual rate ups, though. Let me see their actual rate ups this time. It should be 0.3, right? To be a normal banner, I think. Yeah, 0.3. Yeah. We'll never get good rates in this game, dude. Yeah, I do it. I do it live skin usually. Why are you on YouTube anyway? Why are you on YouTube and Twitch? <laughs> Better question. Um, hold up. So, um, point. What's that? Point three. Nah, average rates. Average. It's average. Not not too bad. Not too good. Um. Uh, the obvious answer is no, right? Do we do, like? Do I even tell people that? I feel like I should, but um. We can look through the banner, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Hmm. So let's see Donna's weapon. Light already had a good dagger now with Noah's dagger, so I don't know I don't think this weapon gonna be a good main hand, but we'll see. Blind effect, hit the dark attack, emity. Oh, light has the emity weapon now. Oh, that's actually really good. Is this four star? Because now you can throw it in the light grid. And you have low health damage too. This weapon is definitely pretty good. With no other dagger. Cause now you can get 100% crit and have your damage scale properly when you get to low health. Wow. They actually, they actually released the good weapon. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna see people, you're gonna see people running this weapon actually. People gonna run this weapon quick. For fossil, no. Um, over time, people gonna like even for like later content, when more people are running Noah Dagger, people gonna end up running this later down the line. Is it legit like what Noah Dagger needed? Funny enough, it's the exact thing: a, a, a little crit extra and a midi, a large a midi. Um, actually, there's a, there's a, there's a copy of another weapon in the game for Wend. Scat Wend, uh, weapon, I believe. It's the same skill. Uh, where is it? Here it is. It's a, like, plain copy. However, this one has a medium. The other one was small, right? Oh, I guess it gets, does it get medium upon filament break? So that one said small, but I'm guessing it gets medium off of my break. Yeah. One said small. Asking the wrong person right now? Okay. Hmm. Right, let's look at the character now. And the reason I'm early is because I wanted to get this out the way before people spoil it on me. And I was already kind of spoiled on it, but I wanted to get it out the way. The faster the better, dude. <sighs> Count it! <clears throat> so we have big ol' cow titties, the character. I'm surprised they made another one, though. It hasn't even been that long since the um, fire one came out, like two years, I think. Light, special, draft, obviously. Dagger, axe. Virith axe. Combereth axe. Is there any other axes in light? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, weapon proofs, like, they're, they're a thing, but it's, it's really only for Hollow Sky right now. 
Ultima is very iffy. Oh, Jeffrey. Massive light damage. Oh, we got Petrified on light now. That should be a local Petrify, though. Should be local. I don't know, but should be local. Um, That's okay, I guess. I wouldn't call it great. But, um, <clears throat> Feuds, doll, light damage to all foes, hit to attack, and multi-attack? Oh, multi-attack is actually pretty good. But, I mean, Fun Fun already did multi-attack on Ogi. So while it's good, it's like, this is like a poverty Fun Fun's Ogi. When I look at this skill, it's like, nice, but Fun Fun does all of this on her Ogi. It's dark attack, but you know, you get the idea. This is Fun Fun's Ogi right here, dude. Twin Reaper attacks twice each turn. Oh, she has double strike. Lower catch of HP every turn. Cannot restore HP while in effect. Extends effect duration upon being targeted by another light allied buff or healing skill. Is this fucking, um, Geisenborger? What is this? How long do you get the extension for, though? In the last two turns, it gets an extension. So you want to target her, target her with a healing skill, but she can't be healed. What? But she attacks twice, though. Pretty good. <laughs> I can't, I can't ignore the attack twice part. Uh, this part is pretty good. This her attacking twice is pretty good. Hello. Clarity, yeah, uh, clarity. But yeah, Zoe has the same thing, right? Um, light allies buff or healing skill. Zoe has the same thing. Boost all, oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This may be a problem. <laughs> I've been complaining about needing John to get high triple attack on my current build for light because I don't have house center. Lo and behold, they release a character now. That can probably, I'm guessing when Petrified you'll like have near max TA. So she may be a poverty option for people who did not have health center. You don't get the supplemental damage though, that health center gives you, but you get her double attack instead. With Thor, I think that's, I don't know if that's more damage or not though. But it's a good option for people who don't have house in them. Yo, where's Omar? Omar, we have the answer, dude. We just got a surprise ticket this character. We don't need house center no more, bro. The 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 suffering is over. <laughs> the suffering is over, dude. The only problem is that you need petrify for petrify for the um, boost specs. And I don't think grand order can be petrified i could be wrong though but i don't think you can petrify that fight so i'm guessing that rate's gonna be something low like 30 ish 40 but it's like it's okay if it's that but i will like guaranteed ta if i can have that instead but i'm pretty sure if if the foe has this debuff it's pretty much guaranteed ta so Boost to all allies debuff success rate, which is actually not that bad. Um, I'm pretty sure she probably has really bad hit rate. She only has one debuff though, which is her Ogi. Well, I guess this one too, but you know, fun fun. <laughs> so uh, she really only has one debuff. 
boost her attack based on how low her HP is. Can withstand lethal hit. Yeah, I don't like her. Don't, her skill too. Eh. It's okay. I know, right? I know, Tofaz. I know. But we poverty, dude. We don't have Halsena. You gotta. We got. I'm not trying to ogie with John, dude. I don't want to ogie with John. And if this is my only option to ignore ogieing with John, then fuck YOLO, dude. <laughs> fuck YOLO, bro. I sound tired? Yeah. It's 8 a.m. <laughs> I am tired. But overall, I mean, it's not that bad in terms of skill 3. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, let, let me check. It's all about does Grand Order have, um... Petrify resist. If you can petrify Grand Order, it's not that bad. Uh, Grand Order high level. Let me check. That's like very important to me. Because that's where I'm looking at it the most. Um, other raids, probably not. But Grand Order is pretty important. Oh, uh, fuck. Where is it? Oopsies. What did I call There it is. Cool. Can we petrify Grand Order? Is it immune? Is it immune? not immune. <laughs> yep, it's not immune. So there you go, that's the answer. Now, it's gonna be a good at house center? No. But it's something we can do. Midnight? Oh, I, I stream midnight generally. I, like, I stream two hours from now, generally. Oh. How long is the cooldown though for the MA buff? How long is it? The cooldown? I have no clue. But the uptime is three turns. I'm guessing six turns cooldown. It probably starts off, yeah, six turns, seven turns maybe. I'm gonna have, yeah, yeah, 12 hours is too long, dude. But that's like where I see her right now as a poverty option for people who don't have health center. That's what I'm seeing her as right now. Her dagger is actually pretty good to help stabilize Noah crit build damage. Um, it's not that bad of a weapon, actually. Um, other than that, that's the character pretty much. I don't... Why hear music? What music is this? I hear music, but I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's about it for this character. Let's go on to the next character. Did you guys hear music? What the fuck am I hearing? Oh. Okay. It's low, though. Um... So we have Jin next, and Jin weapon is Tana. Massive earth damage to a foe, keen effect to main character. So I'm guessing it's gonna be keen effect to the party when full limit broken. All right. The fuck is this? Medium boost to earth allies attack and critical hit rate. Okay, that's cool. Slight chance to dodge and counter medium damage for Earth allies. Why? Why? Well, unlike Donna's weapon, um, Jin's weapon's garbage. Now, it's only a matter of time for they buff counter on the weapons and counter becomes broken, but for now, it's garbage. I wouldn't really worry about it. Does it even have a four star? Like, I hope not. So we have Jen. He looks actually pretty fun. Yo, it's Sekiro, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> My man got he got starter, starburst stream and whatever. Fuck, he got Kirito's move, looking like Sekiro. Like, what is this shit, dude? <laughs> they <laughs> like what is this bro 
He just copying everybody. Earth, attack, human, a katana. It stays the same, all this stuff. Boost the earth damage to a foe. Uplift a foe. Uplift. Oh, uh, he has a martial spirit level. I hate that, dude. I hate characters that gain a boost to their ogies based on their fucking stats. It takes so long. It always takes long. He has uplift though, it's not bad. Uplift is pretty okay on Earth. I feel like it's not that good. Does something else have uplift in Earth? Does Alex Dagger have uplift? I feel like there's another weapon with uplift in Earth and I just can't think about it. Is it Alex Dagger? No, which one has uplift? Is that, is, there's no up, uplift weapon in Earth? I feel like there's an uplift weapon though. Hmm. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Yeah. I don't see any uplift weapon in Earth. That's not that bad. Okay. Instant CA standby to a caster. Um, I'm guessing he has 200% charge bar. I'm gonna pray it's 200%. I doubt it, but you know, I can pray. I'm gonna pray really hard it's 200%. Um, but it's probably 100 because it's an instant CA. And it's instant CA at the same text that How Long has, which is 100. Which is not a fan of, not a fan of that. Yeah. Why is the skill one so basic, dude? His skill one's like it came out at 20, uh, 2016 or something. It has to be something more, right? Quick as a blade. Earth damage to a foe. He gains a buff effect to the caster. What's his buff do? When a foe uses a special attack, earth damage to the foe. And he raises his skill by level one. And it's only two times though. And he has a dispel. Oh wait, hold up, it's octo replacement. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need octo for earth, right? He has 20 percent charge bar, right? Wait, hold up. This is kind of important. Wait. Don't tell me he don't have 20% charge bar. Hold up. And cooldown for caster's other skills consume all of the all charge bar. Wait, you don't have two ogies? Wait, what? When a foe uses a special attack while it's getting the effect, earth damage to a foe, raise martial spirit level by one. 50% boost to charge bar gain when it's level five. <coughs> So his second sight ends cooldown for captured other skills. So he can activate quick as a blade in this skill again. Cut to the second sight's cooldown based on charge bar consumed. What? So it's like skill one, skill two, skill three, skill one again. Ogi, attack, 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 skill two. What? Cause you don't want, I'm pretty sure you don't stack, right? You don't want to recast quick as a blade until you have both of these activate. Charge bar? Character's garbage. I like how they add the spell to every character in 2020 though. 
Hey, new character came out. Oh, what's a kit? Oh, they have to spell. Okay. <laughs> Every everybody get a dispel. You get a dispel. You can dispel now. You can dispel. Does it make any sense to your kit? No, but you can dispel though. We gotta make every character Lucy viable now. It's pretty much the game plan. Oh, you you have a dispel now. There you go. You're Lucy viable. I'm pretty sure every character or every other character has gained the spell i feel like like every other character in the, that comes out has a dispel now if it's not one it's the other worst case is both like noah and vikala you know but generally it's one or the other has the dispel um you get a dispel you get a dispel we all have the spells now bro If he had 200% charge bar, honestly, he'd be pretty good. Um, you can replace Octo with him, as in, like, you don't need to have Octo anymore for Earth. And you have an extra dispel on Earth, because Earth's problem is that dispel, keep in mind that he's human, meaning that you lose Kime viability, Lobella, um, Magusa, so. I mean, you can remove Octo, though. So, that's cool. But you can't. You can't. He only has 100. So, what's up, Horse Whisper? You, like, you, you can you can kind of do some stuff with him, but I wouldn't say he's, like, godlike or anything. You can do, like, nothing with him, really. What he looks good for, though, honestly, he's good for, um... Proving Grounds. He's another one of those Proving Ground characters where they can burst really high damage. Um, so that's what he's going to be used for is probably Proving Grounds. Like, I can almost guarantee it he's going to be used for Proving Grounds. Like I can almost guarantee it. But other than that, I don't think he's going to be used for anything else. No, he... He synergized well with uh, Rising Force. In what world? I mean, he can Ogi, so can every other character. <laughs> if if that's what's all it took to be um, synergized well with um, Rising Force, and every character can synergize well with Rising Force, right? Because they can all can Ogi. Okay, he Ogi, he gets uplift. Cool. Not really doing anything. His Ogi effect is garbage. Either the character has to have 200% charge bar or some nutso Ogi effect to be like Rising Force type character. His Ogi is garbage. Fact, it's gar uplift. Wow. Ooh, so good. So it's unfortunate, but I wouldn't say he synergized well with Rising Force. Worst part about it is that, um, He's more of a character that kind of desyncs his Ogi. <laughs> like, he actually does not want to chain burst with people. Yeah. He doesn't really want to chain burst with people. Like, you're going to be in a situation where he's the only one Ogi in quite a bit. Which is not a bad thing. Um, like, first off, getting to level five for him looks fucking awful, dude. And look, what what he gains at level five is garbage. Fifty percent boosted charge bar gain. Is that it? Is that all he gained? He gets to be a crappier octo. Yeah, he can't see a specs based on martial spirit level. That the, those specs boosts better be bigger. Though that better be some big ass numbers, bro. I tell you right now, for him, for him to have that, 
they better be some huge numbers. Like Donald Trump, huge. They got to be huge. <laughs> they got to be really huge for him to be worth a damn. Like, his level five better be like tripling his nukes. Like, tripling his OG damage. I better see a 100% boost to his charge attack damage. And 75% boost to his charge attack damage cap at level 75. For him to even be worth a while. No, he's not grand. None of these units are grand. No, neither unit is grand. Bro, if he only had the 200% charge bar, he'd be pretty decent. But he doesn't have 200% charge bar, so he's garbage. You know what they should have done? Is like, depending at what level he is, right? He takes less to Ogi. So, for example, right? If he was like level 5, it would take... 50% of his charge bar for him to OG or something. Versus this is what he gets right here. This 50% boost to charge bar gain. It would have been better for him if he had like needed only 50% to to OG. So he could still do a double OG at 100. Now, can they code that? I don't think so. But it would have been better for him. So he could still be a hundred. Why not? Because side games. Coding is hard, dude. I don't know. You think so? Hmm. Well. Yeah, he needs I mean right now it's looking at him though. He's pretty he's pretty eh. Um Let's, let's type some notes in. Donna. Anyone got a guy to make which bullet for John Doe faded? Uh, what what bullets are you? Uh, what are you planning to make a John Doe for? And I'll tell you the bullets you need. No, but for what content? Wait, what are you using your John Doe? Jen. Uh, if you want to try Bahamut high level, you want to go with enhancing, gold bullet, iron bullet five, iron bullet five, Zeph bullet three, Zeph bullet three. Um, Jen, he, he, he is pretty bad. He's pretty bad. ECA specs. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> at least he can dispel though our triggers. <laughs> you gotta look at the benefits, right? He can at the very least dispel on triggers, right? You gotta look at the, the big benefits. 
How many did he start off with? Oh, he don't start off with any stacks, do he? Man, bro, he's so... God, he's so bad. Storm, you want to do an Ultimate Bahamut? Probably not the best stream to do that. <laughs> it's probably not the best stream to do that right now. But I could do it with you in like two hours. Um, that's about it for characters, right? We're, we're, we're almost done. Let me check. Only 40% DA, 30% TA on skill 3 when petrified? Really? I thought it had to be 100% TA. You, you, you sure? <laughs> you, you, what is it normally then? No, he does not have 20% charge bar. Thanks for reminding me, please. Yeah. Nah, Yami don't want to pull on this banner, and I wouldn't pull on this banner. The banner's garbage. <laughs> Yami don't want to pull on the shitty banner. What's a no grid? Two two daggers. <laughs> no, it's enhancing bullet five or enf here. I'll show you the bullets. We're talking about Bahamut high level faded, right? There's only one set of bullets you do here. These bullets, enhancing cell, gold bullet two, iron bullet B, iron bullet B, Zeph point three, Zeph point three. That's it. There's no other options. Welcome to Bahamut high level. No problem. Yeah. If you want to win, if you don't care about winning, run any bullet. But if you want to win, then those are the bullets you need. One turn for each 10% consumed for skill three. Yeah. But, um. I mean, because he doesn't have the charge bar boost. You don't have the. Bro, if he had 200% charge bar boost, he'd be so much better. So much better. That's all he needed, really. You can, like, kind of use them with 200%, you know? Kind of. Bro, right now, how the hell you use this character, bro? Um, uh, like, what are you using him for? It, it's more, like, you can use him, right? Don't get me wrong. The character is usable. But where can he be optimized? That's what I'm looking at. Like, where can he be optimized? Where? What content can we use him in where he can do really good? Currently. Oh! You know what? You know why I mentioned that he can desync his, desync his ogies? I think the idea for him desyncing his ogies is for Leviathan Malice. <laughs> I, the more I, the more I think about it, I think that's about it. Because the first ogi you take in Leviathan Malice, and then the second ogi you take, you can dispel the um, damage cut. That's probably like the only the only area where you can kind of use them because he desyncs his ogies really quickly. But he has uplift, so he's he's bound to catch up and chain burst. But at the very beginning, he'll desync his ogies really quickly, which is a problem. So that that's where you can use them. Um, Uh, let's, let's do it like this. Oh, why? The, what? Not Nani. I didn't. Why did I have my own thing linked, dude? I wanted to copy and then paste and then edit this shit. Uh, 
Okay. Do I want to raid Martial Spirit to boss triggers, right? Yeah. And take big damage. So if he were to go to like far high level, he takes it. Um, He'll get a level instantly. He needs to take big damage or uh, have a trigger activate. Or special attack, whatever. Um, okay. And what else? Okay, that's about it. I, I don't think I have anything else to talk about this character. Oh. Trash weapon. Mm. I still have the um, YouTube mindset in my head right now. If you guys don't know why I do the whole capital thing, it's because of the YouTube things. The the YouTube mindset fucked me up, dude. So I gotta like remove all these capitals. Irking me right now, real bad, dude. It's irking me, hella bad, dude. It's irking me. La 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 What does the EMP have? I don't know. Anybody have an EMPs? Oh, Narmea? Yeah, Narmea can definitely desync as well with that team. So, you know, you, you, you can have, like, pretty good chain burst. Oh, wait, another thing. Wait, hold up. What's this? You know what? Another thing I did not think about with him is that on full auto, his skills come out properly. It comes out as skill one, skill three, skill one, skill two. Which is not that bad. I much prefer that than skill three, skill one, skill two. So, at the very least, the way his his skills come out on full auto works pretty well. So that's something to keep note of. Now, next banner, Return of Zodiacs. Now, okay, okay. Um, so what, the, so there's a site I have here. Let me see if I can find it. There's somebody who keeps tracks of every banner, right? that came out and we can look at the banner and see what's gonna happen in the next banner. Cause you know, I like looking at the future. I like looking at the future. Okay, cool. So 2020 banner, uh, how do you do this shit, expand? Okay. So the 2020 banner, I wanna look at as the first banner. Uh, where is the banner? Is this banner right here? I think it's this one. No, it's full uncap. 
What the hell is my What are these dates? Where is where is it it was come bear on the banner, right? Oh, by the okay, there you go. There you go. I fixed it. Cool, 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 cool. So in terms of dates, we should this is where Flash Gal was a year ago. Um that's when we got Tanya. God Tanya was such a good character, right? Compared to these two. And Skull SR, dude. That's actually a pretty good banner. Uh, both these characters have been core. Skull, Skull SR was used for GW. And Tanya has been used for a lot of solo content. And full auto. Element rate up all. Feature full and cap. And this is the premium gal. So we had... Monkey come back. So it should be... Uh, my hero banner definitely my hero i know we don't know if vicky is coming back if vicola coming back i don't know um also are they going to keep it at two now um uh, possible third zodiac like um the units should be a unit from um, Zeta event. New society unit. That's more guaranteed. Cut to go at the event. New society unit. Um, light, that's dark. Um, crest summons as well. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be light though, but we'll see. This is what I'm looking at right now for next banner. No, I can look Combares right here. There you go. This is the, this is the banner we had last year. So you can see right here, the banner we had last year. Um, I, I, I can zoom in on it for you. One second. Let me zoom in on it for you guys. So you guys can get a better look at that. Let's go. Maybe that's two, but that works. So we do this. So this is the banner we had last year. 12, uh, 2019, 130. One. That's the premium, ga the premium gala we just have. Um, February. So we should get um some zodiacs. Anira is here, so it should be my hero. Because this is when um Manila got her not Anila. This is when Monkey got her full limit break. So my hero should be back as well. Um Kambira was an oddball this year. Uh last year my fault. So I don't know if they're gonna do the same thing with Vikala. Vikala to question mark. Um we also got Dante and Sen to go with the event that was going on back then. The event that's going on now should be a society event. So with Zeta full limit break. So it should be a, a society unit. Um I don't know who it's gonna be, but it's gonna be a society unit guaranteed. Um, we got a summoned. This is when they were still doing the, um, this is when they were still doing the 120s, the free, like, the surprise ticketable 120s. So, we're, still, we're probably going to get the light crest summon this time. And then we got an SR unit. I don't know what SR unit we're going to get, though, but... This is what I'm thinking is going to happen next banner. The reason I mentioned a possible third Zodiac is because they only had one Zodiac, I believe, in 2018, which was Anula back then. Let's go look. 2018, I think it was only Anula. Um, yeah, see. So, 
when Anella got her full limit break, it was only it was only Anella, right? For the banner. When Monkey gets her full limit break, it's only Monkey. And it's Monkey plus one. So when my hero gets her full limit break, it's possible that it could be my hero plus two. And it'll keep adding one extra. The banner next is a the next legend banner is um February first or uh January thirty first around that time. No, I don't. I mean, it's possible they add society units to Valentine's, but I don't know about that. That's too far in it. I think a year in, in the future. When I know the event schedule, then I can speculate. But right now, it's going to be hard. I can probably, I can only really speculate the upcoming banner, not two banners ahead, right? That's like a, that's a month from now. A, a lot can happen in one month. But two weeks, I can do two weeks. Two weeks is possible. The, the February banners are always on the 13th of Japan, if you didn't know. So here, this is Medusa's banner. Where's Medusa? Medusa. Uh, so it's actually the 14th. The, um, this is, yeah, Medusa's banner. And then this one is, I think, didn't it come out like a day earlier? I swore one came on the 13th. Let me check. Yo, th yeah, this one was the 13th, excuse me. Which is Clarice Banner and Melissa Bella. So. Yeah, I hear it too. I'm ignoring it though. Some Somebody yelling outside. But that's the current... Um, next Gotcha? No, Next Gotcha is the Legend Fest. The Next Gotcha is February Legend Gala. Not Flask Gala. Flash Gala is on the 14th of, or the 13th of February. The next banner, like the next double rate banner, will be Legend Gotcha, which is at the beginning or end of the month, which is February 1st or January 31st, depends. But one of those two days, the next double rate banner. And I think that covers about everything. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I think I covered everything I wanted to cover for today. So, with that, um, I'm probably call this a stream. I don't, I don't want to make it too long because I'm gonna stream more GBF like later, right? So I need some time to get ready. Gotta eat. Gotta drink. Gotta not die. 